This California woman is wearing glasses with a mini camera. It communicates with electrodes implanted in her eye that stimulate the retina. Is this a sidewalk or a dirt path? Uh... Linda Morefoot is among the first recipients of a so-called bionic eye. She was totally blind for more than a decade with an inherited condition called retinitis pigmentosa. I can shoot baskets with my grandson, and I can see my granddaughter dancing across the stage. So I can see things, <laughs> you know. Little arms. Linda's bionic Little eye has 16 electrodes. Doheny Eye Institute researcher Mark Humayan says newer in. devices have many more. This field is really blossoming, so in the next four to five years, uh, you know, I hope and we all hope that we see technology that's much more advanced. Dr. Vivek Chaherty at Sydney's Prince of Wales Hospital is developing a similar device that sits on the surface of the eye. Well, we're very close to having a bionic eye um, uh, ready to have some preliminary Im implantations in a, in a cohort of a few patients to see uh, how well it works. Colleague Minus Coroneo says the technology is similar to that used in cochlear implants developed for the hard of hearing years ago. We ought to have done it a decade ago, um, but nonetheless we are where we are and, and um, I, I would be hopeful that in the medium term we will have devices that will provide mobility vision for people who are totally blind. The researchers say the devices may never be able to restore 2020 vision to the blind. But those with the artificial eyes and their clinicians say bionic technology is already restoring mobility, improving vision, and brightening the lives of some who once were. Paul Sisko, VOA News.